When Corporations Rule the World is a thought-provoking book that delves into the global influence of corporations. In this video, we will explore seven valuable lessons derived from the book. 1. The Rise of Corporate Power and Influence The rise of corporate power and influence is a central theme in When Corporations Rule the World. It explores how multinational corporations have come to wield significant control over global economic and political systems. The book delves into the ways in which these corporations have amassed enormous wealth and sought to further their interests at the expense of workers, communities, and the environment. It highlights the impact of corporate lobbying and campaign contributions on government policies and decision-making processes. The lesson also emphasizes the need for greater transparency and accountability in corporate practices. It discusses the implications of corporate-led globalization on social inequality and environmental degradation. The author argues that unchecked corporate power undermines democracy and perpetuates injustices. The book calls for a reevaluation of the role of corporations in society and proposes alternative models of economic development. It encourages readers to challenge the dominance of corporations and push for reforms that prioritize the well-being of people and the planet. 2. The Impact of Corporate Globalization on Society Corporate globalization has had a significant impact on society by shaping economic policies and trade agreements. It has led to the exploitation of natural resources and labor in developing countries. The rise of multinational corporations has diminished the power of nation-states to regulate and control their economies. Globalization has also widened the gap between the rich and the poor, leading to increased inequality. The pursuit of profit by corporations has often come at the expense of social and environmental responsibility. Corporate globalization has fueled consumerism and homogenized cultures around the world. It has weakened local communities and indigenous cultures, as well as eroded traditional values and ways of life. The dominance of corporations in the global economy has led to a loss of democratic control and accountability. The negative social impacts of corporate globalization have sparked grassroots movements and protests against corporate power. The lesson learned is that corporate globalization must be critically examined and alternatives explored to ensure a more just and sustainable future for society. 3. The Role of Deregulation in Corporate Dominance Deregulation has played a significant role in facilitating corporate dominance by removing barriers and restrictions that limit their power. This has allowed corporations to expand their influence and control over various industries and markets. With less oversight and regulations in place, corporations have been able to prioritize profits over the welfare of society and the environment. The deregulation has also led to increased inequality as corporations prioritize maximizing shareholder wealth at the expense of workers and communities. This has resulted in the concentration of wealth and power in the hands of a few corporations and individuals. Deregulation has enabled corporations to engage in practices that harm the environment, exploit workers, and evade taxes without facing significant consequences. It has created a system where corporations have more power and influence than governments, shaping policies and regulations to benefit their interests. The lack of regulation has allowed corporations to engage in unethical and harmful practices with impunity, putting profits above all else. Deregulation has contributed to the erosion of democracy as corporations use their wealth and power to influence political decisions and policies in their favor. The role of deregulation in corporate dominance highlights the need for greater accountability, transparency, and regulation to ensure that corporations operate in the best interests of society and the planet. For the Consequences of Prioritizing Profits Over People Prioritizing profits over people can lead to exploitation of workers, environmental degradation, and social inequality. 
When corporations focus solely on maximizing profits, they may ignore the well-being of employees, leading to unsafe working conditions and low wages. This can result in a lack of job security, poor labor practices, and a disregard for human rights. The pursuit of profits above all else can also harm communities, as corporations may prioritize short-term gains over long-term sustainability. Additionally, when profits are prioritized over people, it can create a cycle of economic instability and social unrest. This mindset can also contribute to the concentration of wealth and power in the hands of a few, leading to increased inequality. In the worst cases, prioritizing profits over people can result in exploitation, environmental destruction, and a disregard for ethical standards. Overall, the consequences of prioritizing profits over people can have far-reaching and detrimental effects on society as a whole. 5. The Need for Corporate Accountability and Responsibility the lesson highlights the essential need for corporations to be held accountable for their actions. It emphasizes the importance of corporate responsibility in today's world. This means that corporations must take responsibility for the impact of their decisions on society and the environment. Corporate accountability involves transparency and honesty in business practices. It also requires companies to consider the well-being of all stakeholders, not just their shareholders. When corporations are not held accountable, they can exploit resources and communities for their own profit. This can lead to environmental degradation, social inequality, and other harmful consequences. By promoting corporate accountability and responsibility, we can strive for a more sustainable and equitable future. It is crucial for governments, civil society, and consumers to demand greater accountability from corporations. Ultimately, corporate accountability is key to creating a more ethical and just global economy. 6. The Importance of Grassroots Movements in Challenging Corporate Power Grassroots movements play a crucial role in challenging corporate power by mobilizing communities raising awareness about corporate abuses, and advocating for policy changes. These movements often have a grassroots structure, which means they are decentralized and driven by the people most affected by corporate power. Grassroots movements have the power to disrupt corporate interests and hold them accountable for their actions. They can also provide a strong counterforce to corporate influence in politics and policymaking. By organizing at the local level, grassroots movements can build collective power and create lasting change. Grassroots activism is essential for promoting social and environmental justice in the face of corporate dominance. These movements empower individuals to take action and fight back against corporate greed and exploitation. Through grassroots organizing, people can build solidarity and resistance to corporate hegemony. Ultimately, grassroots movements are an important tool for democratizing power and creating a more just and equitable society. 7. The Potential for Alternative Economic Systems to Combat Corporate Rule The potential for alternative economic systems to combat corporate rule is a key theme in When Corporations Rule the World. This lesson explores the idea that there are alternatives to the current corporate-dominated economic system. It suggests that there are ways to challenge and resist the power of corporations in shaping our economy. One key point is the need for grassroots movements and community-based initiatives to create more democratic and sustainable economic models. Another important aspect is the role of government regulations and policies in curbing corporate abuses and promoting a more equitable distribution of wealth. The lesson also highlights the importance of promoting worker-run cooperatives and small-scale, locally-based businesses as alternatives to corporate power. It emphasizes the potential for collective action and solidarity among different social groups to challenge corporate dominance in the global economy. The lesson encourages readers to think critically about the impact of corporate rule on society and to imagine and work towards alternative economic systems that prioritize people and the planet over profits. 
It concludes by presenting a hopeful vision of a future where corporate power is no longer unchecked and where alternative economic systems thrive. Thank you so much for joining me today on this journey through the pages of When Corporations Rule the World. I hope you found the lessons and insights on the book both engaging and informative. If you enjoyed the content and found it valuable, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth book lessons and insights. Until our next literary escapade, happy reading, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and stay inspired.